I've been always hesitant to create scenes with crowds because I did not want to assign animations to hundreds of characters one by one. Luckily, there are crowd simulation tools. And in a previous video, I featured some of the Blender specific tools. You can check that out if that sounds interesting to you. In this video, we are checking out iClone's crowd simulation tools. I used Kitbash 3D Cargo to build the metal city. I use Cargo in almost all of my renders. It's a software that holds the entire asset library of Kitbash 3D and you can import any of these assets into all the popular 3D softwares with one click. They also have a bunch of free assets in here and a full free kit called Mission to Minerva. Using that kit, I built this environment inside Unreal Engine and we did some virtual production tests at home on a TV. Back to our metal city. Welcome to Metal City! I build the city mainly out of the heavy metal kit and the steampunk kits. I import the models in. After importing all the buildings, it is a lot like playing with Legos. For the white shots of the city, I use this geometry node setup. I have some buildings in a different collection and they are distributed on this plane using a basic distribute setup in geometry nodes. Now let's get into creating the crowds. Reillusion recently introduced crowd simulations inside iClone. These crowds can be exported out to any 3D software and they are super fast way to create realistic crowds. First, when I open iClone, I go to Edit, Preference, change the preset to Blender so the navigation feels familiar. This preference is saved and I only had to do it once. Go to Edit again, Project Settings this time and change the frame rate of the project. I set it to 24 frames per second. There are a bunch of different crowd simulation types available inside iClone, such as actor groups, walkways, custom object meshes, volumes, and so on. All of these types can also be used together. First, the actor groups. This is my favorite and quickest way to populate scenes. I pick out the crowd interaction I like, drag and drop it into the scene, adjust their animation length. With this drop down menu I choose what actors get picked, click randomize to change the actors. If you like an actor but just want some variety on their look, we can click randomize actors then materials only. This keeps the actor but randomizes their materials, giving them different looks. From social actions and actor groups, I can throw in different types of interactions and fill out any scene. Unless you choose the expressionless option, these actors come in with facial animations. You can also create custom actor groups using custom 3D models and custom animations, so every time you drag and drop them out, it's your custom animations and custom models. We're not going into that in this video because I did not use that feature for my project, but Reillusion has a great video about it. But for this video, let's get a bit more advanced with the crowds. To create the other types of crowds, we go to Create, Scatter, Generate Crowd. This opens up this dialog box and makes things a little more complicated and a little more exciting. With it, we can create the area we wish to scatter crowds in. With the Create Volume checked, if I click and drag, I create a volume. This volume can be moved and scaled. The number of the characters change as the scale of the volume changes. With pick object, I can choose any surface to scatter the crowds in. This surface can also be a custom modeled surface. I want to put a crowd simulation of workers on top of this ship. I model the surface out of a plane in Blender, then export it out as an FBX. Import it into iClone and choose that as the surface. Back to our crowd sim dialog, we have bunch of options here. I go for random, but formation can be used for crowds in stadiums, theaters or for creating army formations. After adjusting the settings, we have to bring in our actors into the actor pool and animations into the motion pool. iClone comes with some free actors and motions in it and we can purchase additional actors and animations from actor core. You can purchase them individually or as packs. You can also bring in any 3D models as actors and bring in any animation from any source as the animation. Mixing different animation packs and actors together, many types of combinations become possible for any use case you might have for crowds. And in the middle of making this video, my social media got bombarded by Dune content. Not complaining, uh, Dune Part 2, what a film. I watched it two times in cinemas. But anyways, I was inspired by the film and I wanted to see if I can create a similar shot using iClone's crowd simulation tools and Blender. 
I will go into the specifics of creating this scene later in this video, but it basically uses the same tools and techniques, so let's get back to the metal city. Let's fill out the top of this ship with workers. I have the construction workers volume 1 and factory workers volume 2. I'll choose those actors and animations from motions for construction and city life. Clicking on generate placement is basically changing the seed value, randomizing the placement of the actors. Clicking on deploy actors throws the actors into the scene, choosing animations from the motion pool with the fitting tag. We can also add any custom tags to actors or animations manually. After their animations are assigned, they will start moving around. Their animations, however, will end and they will freeze at their final frame. But if we click on the loop, their animations will loop and the actors will keep on acting in an endless motion looping, forever, never questioning, only doing what they're assigned to do, never wondering, never dreaming. They will be yet another cog in this endless machine we call From the scene tab, I hide the nav mesh we imported in. Click drag and box select all of our animated actors. Then go to file, export, export FBX. Make sure it is set to blender and 24 frames per second. Click range and adjust the animation length. Maximum texture size 1k should be enough. Convert image format to JPEG. Create a folder and export them out. Inside Blender you can just import as FPX. I usually prefer using the CC Blender tools add-on to import anything that is coming out of Character Creator or iClone. But in this case importing as FPX just worked fine. For the city center, I plan to create different walkways and crowds using all the crowd sim types available inside iClone. I model a basic surface with a plane where I want to have the crowds. Export it out as an FPX, making sure I only selected the plane, then choose Mesh and check this Selected Only box. Import it into iClone. Go to Create and choose Path to create the walkway. Click to create a walkway, then press Escape when you're done. Under the MD panel, I can adjust the width of the walkway. Create, Scatter, Generate Crowd, Pick Object, then click the walkway. This time I will choose the IMD option here instead of Motion. The IMD or Motion Director animations opens up a whole new world of possibilities that I won't be going into in this video. In short, we can call them Smart Type of Animations. Having selected a walkway as the object, I can click on this and get all the IMD walking animations in here. With Deploy Actors, the actors get in position, but there are no animations. For that, we have to click on the play on the Motion Designer play button here. This takes us to the Motion Director workspace. The animation plays, I stop it and none of it got recorded. I have to choose Record Selected from this drop down menu. Select all the actors in the scene and play again to the desired length. With IMD animations, the actors are smarter, they will avoid each other, walk back on the path when they reach the end. After the playback is about 200 frames, I stop it. This time, their actions are recorded. Now the other type of crowds. We've already talked about actor groups, I just drag and drop a couple of interactions. We've also talked about selecting the FPX as the scatter object. I generate some crowds using that technique. I also create some police officers for more variety. Add a couple more walkways for more life and we have our city center. Okay, the dune scene, we're almost out of time. I started in Blender creating the atmosphere and the landscape for a detailed explanation of how I recommend this video. Then I imported in a mountain and a picture for the background. From Kitbash 3D Cargo I got the sword model and manipulated it in Blender to make it look like the Chris knife from the film. I got this character from ActorCore and worked on its textures for like a day mixing in different types of sand textures. I also texture painted a bit of blood on them. I also got some animations from ActorCore searching things like victory, celebration, kneeling, praying. I hand -played Place the first three in the foreground and for the background actors I use the create volume and just put the actor into the actor pool, put the animations of victory, celebration and so on into the motion pool. I checked random start frame and loop checkboxes, deploy actors, import them into Blender, swap their textures with the custom one I worked on in Blender. Then to increase the numbers even more, I used a little bit of geometry nodes. You can find the full setup I used in this video. I placed some more Chris knives into their hands, render it out, a little bit of color grading and we have the final shot. Obviously a lot more work went into creating these scenes, but I wanted to show the basis of how I created the city and how I create crowds. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something from it and uh, don't forget to... Don't forget to...
Don't forget to do that thing you you were supposed to do. <laughs> 